get kind of fuzzy. For example. Was that crossing the line? Okay, hang on a second. Oh, you gotta play rough. Huh? A pillow fight and I'm unarmed. No, it's gonna put this behind your head. Oh. Oh, so you can pin me down for the old Chinese water torture trick. No, I'm not into the kinky stuff. I just like it gentle. Squint. Here, let me show you. Dinosaurs don't exist, and then uh, decide for yourself. And then again, there's Eric Dubé. Again, I look at uh, look, just watch his video. There's a, a video called um, this best one is called "The History of Flat Earth," and it takes you.
Welcome, my friends, to the Sage Equay Radio Hour, your home for free and critical thinking, and I'm your host, Mike Williams. questions and as he eloquently stated to me in the interview this is the truth then how's it going higher side chatters i'm your humble host greg carlwood just drinking a little drink and smoking a little smoke in sunny san diego and on our never-ending quest to shake seeing the world and the universe as they truly are through pseudoscience books and programs mass
Thailand like um, a gay paradise? Almost there, ladyboys. Some people do prefer to be called ladyboys. The toilets misunderstand. I like men, not 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 like girls. I, I don't know. I am ladyboy, but I know I am lady. And I'm I'm a ladyboy. When I first came to Thailand in 2011, I was struck by many things. From the everyday, to the every night. But there was one thing, one community, that particularly captivated me. Lady boys. The West would call them transgender, but the Thai often refer to them as katoi. Born men, now almost effortlessly feminine, ladyboys blur the line between Western notions of drag and trans. You know, I, will want, uh, I want to be the woman when I can remember myself, you know, very, very young. I start from 18 years old, yes, very young. Uh, age, six, six year. I, uh, I thinking I like I I I like men, not 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 like girl. I think uh, Thailand like um, a gay paradise. They mention there are a lot of gay and uh, transgender, and they have the freedom to express themselves too. discovered it or formalized it. Uh, that might be tricky, Tony, because if we went to the abbot of the big temple in, in Bangkok, he might say, we have nothing to do with that. In the same way that the uh, followers of Christian church would say, oh, you can just believe. Yeah. I didn't tell her, I will put my hand to your head. I am Jesus. I will fix you. Uh -huh. I just said, hey, kid, before we go on our field trip, yeah. let me put my hand on your head. Yeah. So I didn't set up any sort of belief that apprehension. You say in your book that uh, everything is energy, mm. or we are energy, mm. plants, uh, concrete objects. Uh,
The country of Thailand is a source destination and transit country for men, women, and children subjected to forced labor and sex trafficking. It's estimated there are now close to a million sex workers in Thailand, both natives and migrants. Thailand is known throughout the world as a sex tourism destination. Although Thai law made prostitution illegal in 1960, the Entertainment Places Act of 1966 led to new businesses that served as fronts for commercial sex. Bangkok, Pattaya, and Phuket are often identified as primary tourist prostitution zones. There is a general attitude among Thai people that prostitution always has been and always will be a part of its social fabric. This acceptance has allowed prostitution to flourish without much of the social stigma found in other countries. Poverty is the primary reason many Thai men and women consider the sex industry as an occupation. And sadly, commercial sex involving children has become a main tourist draw to Thailand. Children are often led to believe they will go to the cities to work as domestic servants to help support their families only to find themselves forced into commercial sex. Underage sex is illegal, but the law is rarely enforced, and the buying and selling of child sex workers is a lucrative business. In many brothels, children as young as 10 are promoted by managers as fresh and healthy. Thailand's Health System Research Institute estimates that about half of the country's prostitutes are under 18 years of age. Um. When I spoke to her, she was a small, small girl, and, and I was quite surprised that she was actually 16 now. How a middle-aged man of almost 40 could form that relationship is, is something that you could never really um, understand. Like Michelle, Marisol has also been exploited by foreign men when she worked in Subic Bay's sex bars. She left her job as a dancer a few months ago and now works in the Prater Laundry. Yeah, you, you're, you're the one to go to the authorities with alerting them to Michelle. Is that correct, Dubai? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Bucky. I was saying, I know, I'm Marcos. I was saying, I'm going to go Michelle and I'm going to go as ang binayad lang mga damit. Ang pangangailangan ni Michelle sa school niya, pinaginaportahan. Gusto sa portahan niya si Michelle sa pag-aaral. Lahat ang pangangailangan ni Michelle. Who in your family did Marcos make that promise to? Na, nag-promise na, Mama. I also believe you withdrew your complaint in the court case involving Mr. Marcos? Do you know why your mother asked you to recant? Alam mo ba daw bakit ano, pinawi-withdraw ni mama mo yung case? She doesn't know. How do you know Mr. Mark Gonzalo? Dun sa ano, kaibigan siya ng dati kong foreigner. What's the name of your former boyfriend? Who is your former boyfriend? Sorry. Uh, Thorn. My former boyfriend is Thorn. Norway. Huh? Norwegia. Nor uh, from Norway. Huh? Mm -hmm. Some of those bars um, also employ underage children. Underage here is under 18 to work in a bar, but some bars will try and employ girls as young as 13 or 14. They'll do so with willful blindness and so do the police. Some of them, I'm told, are deceptively recruited, so that's um, internal or domestic trafficking. 
They think they're going to come here and work as the usual nannies or housekeepers or waitresses and find themselves in the girly bars. But the men find it tough to gather evidence. The girls have all been trained to say they're 18 and the mama sons and bar owners give nothing away. They soon spot Princess and Jen, who are both aged 15. And discover that the owner is an American called Arthur Benjamin, who recently bought the bar and renamed it after his girlfriend, Avila, who the mama son says is only 14. Sex tourism prostitutes in Bangkok normally work out of one of the expatriate run bars. But on the streets, it's mostly underage girls and HIV positive women still plying their trade. Lesbian, you know? I can't tell. Because I know she. As a Westerner on the streets of Bangkok, you get constant hassle. Not just hookers, shopkeepers, and taxis. Everything. Tonight, we are following the fortunes of two men who paid a Kent-based introduction agency to find them a young Thai bride. Bar Gao Phon comes from Thailand's poorest province. For centuries, rice was its only product, until some village women came across a more lucrative harvest foreign men. The key to cultivating this crop is the local letter writer, Pompili. Pompili can read and write English. Through her, local girls can keep in contact with foreign men, men they first met in the bars of Bangkok. Twenty-one-year-old Fawn has returned home after six months of working as a bar girl. And she is desperate to keep in touch with a recent client. Oh, เป็นคนอิงแลนด์อยู่เบิร์มิงแฮมบ้านเขาคงไม่แก่มากเพราะว่ามองคนอื่นๆเขาก็ประมาณเนี้ยอายุก็ต่างบางคนผู้ชาย